I just wanted to do this little video on adjusting the spine of bought wooden arrows. In every bunch of arrows that you buy there will be one or two that fly, seem to fly really well and uh, what I've done is to analyse those, the spine adjustment and to adjust the spine so that all the arrows in the bunch fly the same way. Basically, the way I see it, if your arrow doesn't suit the bow, then it's going to wobble and weave. Uh, if it flies straight, then it suits the bow, irrespective of knock height, brace, uh, distance or whatever. So, I hope you'll find this useful. I have seven arrows. Uh, they're actually bear paw arrows, and naturally enough, there's a variation with all of them. But of, of the seven that I'd shoot, these two, which I've marked, are shooting, are flying straight. And I'm going to try and adjust the flexibility of the other ones to match this. These are ground down to make them more flexible, to try and get some of that wobble out of it. See how straight they're flying? Mm. See the wobble in that? Yeah. As far as accuracy is concerned, getting rid of the wobble, make them more accurate. Okay, this is a, what I call a flexibility gauge that I saw on, on YouTube and during the lockdown I made this. And you can get into the various poundages of bow, various stuff like that, but as I call it, it's a flexibility gauge. And what I make sure of is that the arrow is, all the arrows are placed exactly the same I release the two pound weight and then I measure what the flexibility number is. Okay, so just have a look at this and it says here it's 12, measures 12 millimeters. Okay, so now I know that this arrow, because I've been shooting these various arrows, all of this type and this one seems to have the best flight it flies really true no wobbling from side to side as you would have seen uh, and my plan now is to is to taper these add grind a little piece off to make these that little bit more flexible the, the ones that aren't like this so that I have a set that are, have the same flexibility and will fly as true as this one. Setting it up exactly the same, releasing the weight, measuring the flexibility and it comes out as 17. Okay, so in here it's 17. You've seen it for the 12. So then, here's the plan, to grind this down, to make it more flexible, bring it to a flexibility of 12. So here's how I do it. I clamp a piece of sandpaper in the vise. I bring it up to the edge of the vise on this end and I tighten the vise to give me that. Where the arrow will not fall down into it but will, will rotate on it without going through it. Okay? Then, using a a portable drill, clamp the point in the drill, I begin to reduce the diameter. Don't go too fast. Keep your hand on it and what you will find is that your hand will begin to get too hot. So I use a leather glove
Okay, so after the sanding, I'm checking the flexibility and my aim is to try and get it around 12, 13, 11, 12, 13, something like that. But certainly to reduce it from the 18, which was too stiff for the longbow, to make it more flexible. So here it is, in situ, drop the two pound weight. That looks good. Actually, it's 13. So I could go another bit, but I won't because I have to smooth that out. And I'll do that with the finer sandpaper. Doing this piece, that last piece then by hand because there will be lots of roughness on this. the weight up with the vernier and there she is at 13 have a look at this see how straight they're flying mm. when my Dad, she out how to make see that? Yeah. yeah yeah 